Y'all better get y'all one of these, okay? Get y'all one of these. What's up, my cherry bombs? On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my heavy hitter fragrances for the winter time. If you're looking for a heavy hitter fragrance for the winter time, then this is the video for you to watch. So go ahead and grab a seat grab a drink and let's get right into this video. All right, you guys, so when I think of heavy hitter fragrances, I think of fragrances that's long lasting, that is beastly, that would walk into a room before I walk into the room. That's what we call a heavy hitter fragrance, okay? And these are some fragrances that I think that are heavy hitters. Now, I'm not gonna put them in no particular list. I'm gonna just pick them up and go. And y'all, first one is one that I just can't believe that I'm even sharing with you guys because I have fallen in love with this fragrance over the years and I finally got it in my collection. This is a fragrance that I could not stand. I did not like it at first. I just didn't understand the hype, but I don't know. My nose probably got very mature and I'm really loving it right now. And it is Versace Crystal Noir. Now this is the EDP. I don't know y'all. I don't know what took me so long because I like ginger and it has ginger there. And I have, I like cardamom fragrances and I like pepper. So I don't know what took me so long with this fragrance. Now I think it's because it's so pungent when you first spray it on and it does does last long and it does linger on throughout the whole day but for some reason the first time I sprayed this on um recently I was just like okay girl I see you this smells so good you guys it has a beautiful coconut note in it it has the ginger I think what really turned me off about this fragrance was the gardenia but now that I'm a little bit more how do you say like seasoned in fragrance I can appreciate gardenia when it is done well. And this fragrance, gardenia, is done well because it's accompanied by peony and orange blossom. And I feel like I'm starting to get the orange blossom a little bit more. So the gardenia is definitely in the background for me on my skin. But y'all, when I put this on my skin, I only did um, one or two sprays. I want to say two or three sprays when I did my unboxing. And y'all, that was literally the only time I wore the fragrance and the only sprays that I had on my body. And y'all, the beast of this, the beast came out in this fragrance. It was so long lasting. It was so pungent. Every room that I walked in, in my house, my husband was like, babe, you smell so good. And I was just like, really? How do you even smell this? There's only three sprays on my wrist. And he was like, I don't know, but it smells so good. And every single time I, I smell this fragrance, it reminds me of my friend because this was basically, I wanna say her signature scent. She has a lot of fragrances. But like her go-to was this fragrance. And I think because she was wearing it a lot, I started to really fall in love with it. And it smelled so good. So this is really beast mode. If you're looking for something that's beastly, this is that. And I found mine on GIF Express, of course, but you could definitely find it on FragranceNet. I'll link it down below for you guys. This is the EDP, not the EDT. I smell the EDT, but I think I like this one better. It's so good and it is heavy. Okay, so literally I am an oversprayer naturally, but a couple sprays, like four to five sprays is literally all you need with this fragrance. It is so good. And it's something about wearing like a tropical note in the winter time that gets me all the time. This next one right here is one that I am so happy to wear because even though I was wearing it during the spring and the summertime last year, but y'all, right now is the perfect time to wear this. It is so sensual, it's so sexy, and it's like the perfect winter date night fragrance. And it's a heavy hitter. It's from Kayali, and it is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. This has pink pepper, it has saffron at the top, and it has a lily at the top, y'all. Oh my gosh, then it has two rows in the mid, and then in the base you get amber, patchouli, musk, and sandalwood, y'all. I love this. This is the perfect date night. Now, every single time I wear this, now a lot of people say Kayali fragrances don't last long. On me, I would say like the only one that does not last long is Musk 12 because it is definitely a musk heavy fragrance. So it's definitely more on the skin side than anything. But y'all, whenever I wear this, this enters a room. It's perfect for layering and it smells amazing on its own. It just smells like I am getting off of the jet or I'm getting off of a white horse, or I'm getting off of a, like a chariot. Like it smells so luxe and so sexy at the same time. It's perfect for close encounters. Even though it is beastly, it still have that effect where it's not too pungent in my opinion. And if you overspray, of course, it will be pungent. This is one that I really, really love. And I just can't wait to dive into it a little bit more this winter. Now this one, y'all, 
is beastly. This is one that I wore on Christmas day. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I have worn this. But y'all, when I tell you I was entering rooms and knocking everybody down, like people were rubbing their nose because I was so strong. And I don't care, honestly, I don't care because you're gonna smell me. I need you to smell me. I need you to know that I am here, I'm present. I am in the building, okay? So this is that fragrance for me. It has strawberry, it has peach. It is so delicious and so sexy, and it is. La Capitale by Zhirzhoff. It is perfectly unisex and perfectly, perfectly sexy. Like, this is one that Twisted Lily gifted me for Christmas, and I'm so happy because I told them that I was dying to have this in my collection. Um, and this was a long time ago. We were talking about the House of Zhirzhoff. And... To my surprise, on Christmas Day, I was able to wear this fragrance because they gave it to me as a Christmas gift. Now, this one has saffron, it has ginger, it has leather, bourbon, vanilla. It is so good. Now, when Zhirzhov make a fragrance, they make a fragrance, but this right here is so edible and so gourmand and just so good. Like, when I was wearing this, I wore it on this suede, like, almost like velvety jacket. Y'all, till this day, right now, since Christmas and it is now January. We're halfway through January. And y'all, I still smell this on the jacket. This is a beastly fragrance and I could see me having this for a long time in my collection because it's so strong. This next fragrance needs no introduction because y'all know it's good. And if you haven't tried it, please head over to Twisted Lily and order your sample because it is so good. And it is Delina Exclusive. It has rose, oud, and it has vanilla, amber. Y'all, when I tell y'all this is the ultimate rose fragrance in my collection. Like, if I am picking out a rose fragrance to make a statement to stand out, then Delina Exclusive is definitely it. Now, I do have some other ones that just joined the um, collection towards the end of last year that I can put in competition, but honestly, I know that this one never fails, so I would gradually, naturally head over to this one. This is so good and it's crowd pleasing and it's so easy to wear. This is like one of the most easiest oud fragrances to wear. Now it's not an oud heavy fragrance, but it does have oud. So if you're new to oud, do not be scared because the oud in this is so smooth. The woods in this fragrance is so good. It's so creamy. I love this fragrance. Next one is one that I love. And um, this is one that I'm finally about to wear. Well, I actually wore it twice since I've gotten it but I'm really gonna be wearing it out. It's from Boho Boko and it is Red Wine Brown Sugar. This is my first fragrance with the note of wine and I just have to say, for some reason, this stands out so much for me. If I had to pick out one of the most unique fragrances, just my eyes seeing this, I will gradually pick it up and say, this is unique. Yo. I don't have nothing in my collection that smells like this. And it's so different, but at the same time, it's likable, you know? Like, this is one that people would like, people would wear, and I just cannot get enough of it. Every single time I see it, I have to take the cap off and smell it. Now, one thing about Boho Boko, you need to wear them on your skin because they are definitely not linear at all. So what you smell in the opening is not what you're gonna smell in the mid or the dry down. It changes, and that's what I like about fragrances. This is definitely magic in a bottle. It gradually changes and it takes you on a journey. And y'all, if you're looking for a house that will take you on a journey, definitely Boho Boko. Now, Zhirzhoff does that too, but Boho Boko, like it literally changes and it's crazy how it changes on the skin and it changes to even something better. Like it doesn't change to something that you're not gonna like. You're gonna like the opening, you're gonna love the mid and then you're gonna fall in love with the base. And once you get to the base, you get nuances of every stage of the fragrance, y'all. Y'all better get y'all one of these. Okay, get y'all one of these. Y'all, when I first smelled this fragrance, I instantly fell in love. I couldn't help myself, I fell in love. Like, it is just that good. This is one from Montal, and it is Sensual Instinct. Y'all already know, yes, it smells like Baccarat, but honestly, to me, this does not smell like Baccarat. Mancera Instant Crush smells more like Baccarat than this one. It has the nuances. Like, if you are a lover of Baccarat, you gravitate to this naturally. It's that good. Um, but this one gives me like a more of a cool effect, whereas Baccarat is more warm and almost like 
cozy. This is definitely more on the sexier side. This is definitely cool, like a cool girl, like it's giving bad girl vibes. Like this is what I would smell on Rihanna, whereas on Beyonce, I would smell Baccarat, you know? I love this one and it's so long lasting and it's so sexy. Every single time I wear this, I get compliments and it's perfect for the winter time because it's gonna pierce through the winter air. I just love this and I could just never get tired of it. Let me go ahead and spray that right here. Oh my God, and did I tell y'all how beastly, oh my God, it smells so good. Did I tell y'all how beastly this is? Anything from Montal, you could already tell, you know that it's gonna be beastly. Oh man, it's so sexy. And this is definitely my scent of the day today. So I already sprayed a lot on already, but I just had to, I just had to, it's so good. This next one y'all is so new to the collection. I don't even think I shared it on YouTube yet. And if I did, you know it's new because you haven't seen it in my collection, but it is from BDK and it is Brie Charnel Extra de Parfume. Y'all, if you're looking for the perfect fig iris fragrance, then Brie Charnel is amazing. Now this is the Extra, but the original smells nice too. But honestly, y'all, if you're female, if you're not used to wearing niche style fragrances or not even niche fragrances, let's say this, if you're not used to wearing unisex fragrances definitely go to Gris Charnel the regular the regular is unisex but it leans a little bit more feminine to me whereas Gris Charnel Extraight is perfectly unisex so people that don't wear unisex fragrances automatically think this is leaning masculine to me it is perfectly unisex this is like the ultimate fig fragrance that a man can wear like most fig fragrances are just like frufu la la and usually mm -hmm, very sweet and girly and i love it i love that trust me i love that but i would love to smell fig on a man then bdk said all right girl i got you boom this is so good and it's so long lasting it's so beastly my husband wore this to a magic's game um maybe a week ago and y'all when i tell y'all he was getting compliments left to right and y'all know it's hot well it was not hot in there but like you know when you're around people it could get a little bit warm and there's a lot of thousands of people actually and y'all he was still getting compliments people were saying you smell good and i was giving him compliments because i loved it and that was the first day we got it now fun fact i got this for him for christmas but it it took some time to get to me so definitely I ended up unboxing it on Instagram um, instead of giving it to him as a formal Christmas gift for him to unbox. And he said it was okay for me to unbox, but y'all, I don't know. I might have to get me another bottle or we might have to share this fragrance because it is so good. If you're looking for a fig fragrance that is extremely unique and different from any other fig that you've ever smelled, then Gris Charnel by BDK is good. I hate to say this, but I think it's slowly becoming one of my favorites from BDK. It's so good, it's literally up there. The next one is a staple to have in your collection for winter time, because if you don't have this fragrance and you like tobacco and honey, you're really missing out. And it is Noxos by Zhezhov. So freaking good. Now, the reason why this doesn't have like a bigger dent is because one, I have so much fragrances, but my husband tends to wear this on special occasions and I tend to wear it on special occasions too. And we don't have that much special occasions only because he wore this on his wedding day, so it's, it's kind of one of those special fragrances. I mean, I honestly, sometimes when I really miss it, I will just take it and spray it on me, but it's not common. But y'all, this right here is perfect. I um, told one of my loves, one of my cherry bombs, to get this for her husband for Christmas, and she sent me a cute video of him opening it. And he was like, wow, 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 wow. And he kissed the bottle. And that just made me so happy because fragrance is just like, it's more than fragrance to me. It's more like an art. It's, um, it's deeper, it's a feeling, it's just, it's like a brain stimulation. Like it really takes you to a time and place that, you know, makes you happy. So of course this will always have the memory of my husband walking you know, walking down the aisle. I didn't see him walk down the aisle, but in our videos, I did see it. And that memory is stuck here. And our first dance sniffing him, he smells so good. And now it has memories of one of my cherry bombs gifting this to her husband. And seeing the excitement on his face just warmed my heart. Like he loved it and he's very bougie, okay? So when she told me that, I was like, I got the perfect fragrance for you. 
Noxos. <laughs> it's good, y'all. It really is. So if you like honey, tobacco, sexy, smooth fragrances, then this is definitely one that you need to have. All right, y'all. So y'all know y'all was here when I was getting this fragrance. When I got this fragrance, you guys was here. This was sent to me by FragranceNet, and I love it. And it is a beastly fragrance, and I wore this on the 30th of um, December of last year, of 2022, because we had a performance, the band, and... Y'all, when I tell you I knocked everyone out with this fragrance, and it is Dior Addict. This is such a good fragrance. This is a vanilla with some spices and some florals. It's creamy, it's powdery, it's soft, it's pungent. It is amazing. Like, oh my God. I can't get enough of it, y'all. This is so sexy and it is long lasting. Literally, four sprays is all you need because I oversprayed this one. And when I tell you I was walking down every aisle, literally having people turn around looking at me like, girl, you smell so good. Like, if you're trying to stand out, then this is really good. And for a designer, it is top tier. It is definitely niche quality. And I love it. This next fragrance is one that you need to run and get. Like, stop this video and run and get it after I tell you about it. Because it is so good and it's so cheap, but it is so high quality. And it's a must have for the one's time. And it is Oud Mood by Latafa. This is caramel, oud, vanilla. Oh my gosh, this is so long lasting. If you have Shagaf oud, or if you have oud bouquet, then you don't necessarily need this. The oud in this is so smooth, like I just can't contain myself. Every single time I wear this, my husband is just like, girl, you smell so freaking good. You smell like a princess, you smell like a queen. And y'all, it is so long lasting. And I, I think that is literally under $40 for 100 ml and it is beastly it's unique and it is so good comment down below what are some fragrances that you're going to be wearing for winter time that is heavy hitters comment down below if you've tried any of these we'll have them linked down in the description box below and if i have coupon codes for sure the niche ones for sure i will leave them in the description box below because y'all know because y'all know twisted lily is the place to go for samples you guys if you found value in this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up you guys because y'all know that's how youtube recommends my videos to other cherry bombs like you so thank you so much until we see each other again please 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 stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances bye cherry bombs <laughs>